high students. In the first class, we have studied for is a matrix. Its order. Then how can we construct the matrix using the general form? How many matrices can be constructed according to its order? Then different types of matrices and equality of matrices and problems based on equality. Now we are going to study the next topic that is operations on matrices. Operations on matrices. First topic is addition of matrices. Addition. Addition of matrices means suppose we have two matrices. Suppose A is equal to A and J be an M by N matrix and of B is equal to another matrix B and J. It is also an M by N matrix. Then the sum matrix A plus B is equal to adding these two matrices that is A I J plus B I J. How can we add these two matrices? Is matrix A I J plus B I J, isn't it? That is adding the corresponding elements of both matrices. If two matrices are conformable for addition, they are of the same order. If two matrices are of different orders, then we cannot add that matrices. Addition is possible only if the matrices are of the same order, isn't it? Now let A is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5. B is another matrix. Four one zero two one three. Here first matrix is of order two five three. Second matrix is also of order two by three. So we can add these two matrices. How can we add adding the corresponding elements? That is two plus four, three plus one, and one plus zero. So the sum matrix is obtained by 2 plus 4, 3 plus 1, 1 plus 0. Then 4 plus 2, 2 plus 1, 5 plus 3. So the result is 6, 4, 1, 6, 3 and 8. The sum matrix is also of the order 2 by 3. If A and B are two matrices of the same order, then we can add that matrices. And their sum is also a matrix of the same order. Next topic is scalar multiple of matrices. Scalar multiple of a matrix. Scalar means number. Scalar means what? Scalar means number. Scalar multiple of a matrix means multiplying a matrix by a number. Isn't it? Scalar multiple of a matrix means multiplying 
a matrix by a number means multiplying all the elements of that matrix by the number. Let A is equal to we take on matrix that is 3, 5, minus 1, 2. And uh, M B N is A large and M is equal to a scalar which is 3. Now M A is equal to M A is equal to multiply a matrix by a scalar. Scalar means number. Multiply a matrix by a number. Isn't it? Now 3 into here is 3 5 minus 1 2. Now multiplying all the elements of this matrix by the number scalar, the number. Multiply all the elements of this matrix by the number. Here the number is 3. So 3 into 3, that is 9. 3 into 5, that is 15. 3 into minus 1, that is minus 3. 3 into 2, that is 6. This is the scalar multiple. Follow this. Scalar multiple means multiplying a matrix by a number. That means multiplying all the elements of that one matrix by the number. Isn't it? Now, using this, another question is A is equal to 1, 4, 3, 2. And uh, B is equal to Another matrix 3, 2, 1, 5. Find for the question is 3a plus 2b. 3a plus 2b. 3a means multiplying the matrix A by 3. 2b means multiplying the matrix B by 2. Isn't it now adding this? Now 3a plus 2b is equal to, we can add in, find 3a plus 2b, that is 3 into a matrix is 1, 4, 3, 2, plus 2 into b matrix is 3, 2, 1, 5. Now removing the multiplying the matrix by the number 3, 3, 12, 3 into 3, 9, 3 into 2, 6, first matrix. Now second matrix is multiplying by 2, that is 6, 4, 2 and 10, isn't it? Now adding these two matrices, so how can we add, add the matrices, adding the corresponding elements? So 3 plus 6, 12 plus 4, here 9 plus 2, then 6 plus 10. So 9, 16, 11, 16. This is 3a plus 2. Follow this. Now, we are going to find the subtraction of matrices. Just like addition, we can subtract a matrix from another matrix. A is equal to AIJ. 
is an m by m matrix b is equal to b i j that is also an m by m matrix then we can find a minus b a minus b is a i j minus b i j how can we find the difference of two matrices difference of two matrices can be obtained by subtracting the matrices subtracting the matrices means subtracting the corresponding terms or corresponding elements of the matrices isn't it example we have a is equal to 5 3 4 2 1 6 B is another matrix 3 1 2 4 minus 1 6 Here we have two matrices of the same order Therefore, here difference B, how to subtract is subtracting the corresponding numbers 5 minus 3, just like addition, we can subtract 3 minus 1, now 4 minus 2. Similarly, here 2 minus 4, next 1 minus minus 1. 1 minus minus 6 minus 6 is it? Now 2 2 2 minus 2 2 same a minus b is also a 2 by 3 matrix a is a 2 by 3 matrix B is a 2 by 3 matrix, so a, a minus B is also a 2 by 3 matrix, isn't it? These are all simple topics. Now, we are going to study properties of matrix addition. Properties of matrix addition. First one is commutative. Commutative property. What do you mean by commutative property in the case of numbers, that is, for natural numbers, integers, real numbers, etc.? Commutative property states that if A and B be any two numbers, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. If 3 and 2 be any two natural numbers, then 3 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 3, isn't it? That is known as commutative. Like in the case of matrices, if A and B be any two matrices of the same order, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. a plus b is equal to b plus a if a and b be any two matrices. Let us discuss it with an example. Let a is equal to 3, 2, 1, 4. I am taking a 2 by 2 matrix. Another matrix is B. 1, 2, 2, 4. Now find A plus B. What is A plus B? A plus B is adding the corresponding elements of A and B. 3 plus 1, then 2 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 4 plus 4. Isn't it? Now we get. 4, 4, 3, 8. 
This is equation number one. Now I am finding b plus a. b plus a is equal to adding b and a. So we have one plus three. Two plus two. Then two plus one. And four plus two. Here we have. 4, 4, 3, 8. This is equation number. From these two equations we have from 1 and 2, we have a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, matrix addition is can we take a follow this. If two matrices are of the same order, then we can add that matrices in any order. First matrix plus second matrix or second matrix plus first matrix. Both are same. Now second property is associating property. Associating. Associative property. We know that if three numbers 4, 5, and 1, 4, 5, and 1, element of natural numbers, then 4 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to. 4 plus 5 plus 1. This is associated. So 4 plus 6, which is equal to 9 plus 1, which implies that 10 is equal to 10. So this is associative in the case of natural numbers. Similarly, in the case of matrices, if A, B, and C be any three matrices any three matrices conformable for addition conformable for addition what is the conformability for addition what is the conformability for addition conformability means the matrices are of the same order that is the conformability then A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. This is the associative law of matrix addition. I am taking one more matrix. Sorry, I am taking one more matrix. Here I am C is equal to 2, 0, 1, First, find A plus B. I am writing associative property like this A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Here, LHS is equal to A plus B plus C. Now, what is A plus B? A plus B is 4, 4, 3, 8. And C matrix we have 2, 0 and uh, 1, 3. Now adding these two matrices. Now adding these two matrices we have 4 plus 2, 6. 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 1, 4, and 8 plus 3, 11. This is equation number 1. Now find B plus C. B plus C is adding B and C. 1, 2, 2, 4 plus. Another matrix is 2, 0, 
one three. Now adding these two matrices, we have one plus two three. Two plus zero is two. Two plus one is three. This is seven. Now R S is R S is A plus B plus C. Now writing A we have three two one four and uh, B plus C matrix is three two three seven. Now adding these two three plus three is six. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. And 4 plus 7 is 11. This is second matrix. Here LHS and RHS are same. 6, 4, 4, 8, 1. From 1 and 2 we have LHS is equal to RHS. So we can say that matrix addition is associative, isn't it? Now third property is existence of additive existence of additive identity. Existence of additive identity. This property states that in the case of numbers, what is the property of addition? Existence of additive identity in the case of natural numbers is five plus zero is five is equal to zero plus five. That is in the case of natural numbers. Similarly. In the case of matrices, if A B A matrix B A matrix of order order M by N, there exists a zero matrix exists a zero matrix. Zero matrix is denoted by zero. Zero matrix is denoted by zero of the same order. Then, then a plus zero is equal to a is equal to zero plus a. This is. In the case of matrices, for example, A is equal to a zero matrix of order zero 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 zero. Zero matrix means a matrix whose elements are all zeros. That is zero matrix. And uh, we take an a zero matrix. Sorry. Let A is equal to Two, three, one, four, and zero is equal to zero. It means zero matrix is equal to zero, 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 zero. Zero matrix is of the same order. Then what about a plus zero? Add in the corresponding elements: two plus zero, three plus zero, one plus zero, four plus zero. This is two, three, one, four. If we add in the reverse order, zero plus two is two, zero plus three is three, zero plus one is one, zero plus four is four. That is also a. This is also. So we can say that a plus zero is a. Similarly, zero plus a is also a. Therefore, existence of additive identity is a zero matrix in the case of matrices, isn't it? 
Now the fourth property is existence of additive inverse. If A be a matrix of order m by n, another matrix B, another matrix B of the same order, of the same order, such that If a plus b is equal to zero, a plus b is equal to zero. A zero matrix, a zero matrix is of the same order. Then the matrix B is known as additive inverse of A. B is known as additive inverse of A. Example. Here A is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4. I am taking another matrix. 2 minus 3 minus 1 4 b is equal another matrix is minus 2 3 1 minus 4 now i am adding these two matrices a plus b 2 plus minus 2 minus 3 plus 3 minus 1 plus 1 4 plus minus 4 2 plus minus 2, 0. Minus 3 plus 3, 0. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. This is also 0. Isn't it? That is also a 2 by 2 matrix. If a plus b is equal to 0 matrix means which is denoted by 0, then b is known as additive inverse of a. At the same time, a is known as additive inverse of b. Both are additive inverse of other matrices. A is additive inverse of B at the same time B is an additive inverse of A. Isn't it? There are four properties for matrix addition. Clear? Next portion is properties of scalar multiple matrix. Properties. Of if A and B, A and B, B, we need to match us. We need to match us. And uh, KB any constant. KB any constant means any scalar. Then K into A plus B is equal to A plus KB. This is on the property of scalar multiple matrix. Let us discuss in with an example. K is equal to K is equal to matrix of 3, 1, 2, 4 and B is equal to 4, 2, 1, 5 Now find A plus B a plus B is adding A and B. 
So, 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 4 plus 5 is 9. 3 times. A plus A is equal to 7, 3, 3, 9. Now, LFS is equal to K into K plus B. What is K here? K is to A plus B is 7, 3, 3, 9. Therefore, it becomes 14, 6, 6, 18. 14, 6, 6, 18. Please, the first number. Now, we are going to find K plus K. Now, K plus K is equal to R plus is K plus K B. That is k is 2 into a matrix is 3, 1, 2, 4 and uh, a is again 2 into b matrix is 4, 2, 1, 5. Now we have 2, 3, 4, 6, 2, 4, again 8 and uh, here becomes 8. 4, 2, 10. Multiplying all the elements of the matrix by the scale of the least number that is equal to. Here it becomes 6 plus 8, 14, 2 plus 4, 6, 4 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 18. This is equal to number 2. From these two equations, Here 4 plus 2 is 6, not 8. From 1 and 2, we have L plus is equal to R plus, isn't it? There is A into A plus B is equal to A plus A B. This is the property of scalar multiple properties. Now, we take another property. Next property is, second property is, K plus L into A is equal to A plus L A. Where K and L, the L into scalars, where K and L be L into scalars, L into scalars, and uh, A B in A B unique matrix. When we take A is equal to this, A and the N B. Example, A is equal to 3 and the N is equal to, when we take A is equal to, A and is equal to. Yeah, we have this is equal to K plus L into A. That is A is uh, A plus 2 into A. That is 5A. Multiply all the elements of the matrix by 5. So 5 is a thing. Then 5, 10, and 10. This is the first number of 5. Now find. K plus K A R plus C K A plus L A K is equal to K into K matrix A one two four plus L in A is two into again the matrix is K one two four. Now nine three six twelve. And second matrix is 6, 2, 4, 6. Now adding these two matrices, we have 9 plus 6 is 15, 3 plus 4, 5, 6 plus 4, 10, and it is 12 plus, here it is not 6 inches, 12 plus 8 is 10. This is equation number 2. From these two equations, 